All right, here we go. As you can see, egg is standing up. See that? Mm -hmm. Let me show you how we do it. Put an egg down there. And then you just move your hand and they're standing up. Now, I want you to notice. The key is that was easy to do. You see that? It only took me seconds to do it. We're going to go inside and show you the broom because it's kind of windy and it keep blowing down the broom. So, I, I, let's go inside. So, come on, children. Okay, okay. We got an eight-year-old and a four-year-old who's going to demonstrate this for you. Yeah, you might want to go in the back, baby. All right. Go ahead, kids. Bam. As you can see, the five-year-old has the broom standing by himself. And Mike is going to try it. That one's an older broom. And the older broom sucks. And she gave up. But she had it standing, too. The point is, if you notice, it's very easy to do it today. It doesn't take that much attempt. Right? So, what I'm asking the flat earthers, is how is this possible in the flat earth theory? I'm not saying it's not true or not. I'm just asking you to explain it because we understand the, why they say it happened according to science in school. Now, earlier, my friends on Prophecy Watch was telling me and showed me videos where they said this wasn't true. It could happen every day. And I'm telling everybody, take the challenge. Today, it's going to be easy to stand the egg up on his end. It's going to be easy to stand the broom up. Next week, you're not going to do it. Now, this is the real first day of spring, according to the Bible, where it's equal part night and equal part day. That's why it works here. It's not going to work on what they call the eternal equinox, because that's not the true equinox. So here it is. Don't tell me that your broom fell. Don't tell me that you can't do it. I just showed you a four of, look, he did it again. You see how quick he did that? I just showed you a five-year-old can do it. If you can't do it and a five-year-old can, you suck. Thank you.